how's it going? Have you ever been wondering how to make TikToks, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels using Premiere Pro? I'm going to show you. Let's get into it. So here we are. We are in Premiere Pro 2022 because that is the one that I am comfortable with using. So straight off, before you, when you load up, you do need to start a new project. So quick, simple, and easy. Start the new project. So from there. We're going to go to this box down here and we're going to hit this item which says new item. Right. And then we're going to click on there. We're going to highlight sequence. So now we're in sequence. As you can see, I have already made. I know it's not there, but I did make one. So I don't know where that's disappeared to. But anyway, for this, I am going to suggest that you use the um, digital SLR. And depending on what your, um, your resolution is, is which one you're going to use. And depending if you're going to want to use 60 frames a second. So for that one, we're going to use this one here. We're going to use DSLR 720 60 frames a second. So with that highlighted, we're going to go over here. As you can see, it's all there. And what we're going to do, we're going to change the frame size. So this one here, we are going to change to 1080. And then over here. Nope, that's I'll try to go do more. We're going to go with 1920. And there we have we have our 9 by 16. What else we're going to do, we're going to click down here. And we're going to click maximum bit depth. And then we're also going to click maximum render quality. So we're going to go down here, we're going to we're going to name it. So we're going to go with YouTube shorts, because that's what I do. We're going to save presets. This is what I've got to do earlier. And it's going to be one known as just YouTube Shorts. So then it will come up on your presets. I click the one you're going to use. So we're going to use YouTube Shorts. I'm going to click OK. So there we are. We are we we have our vertical. So I'm just going to bring in a video. Because I do booster box openings and stuff like that. So we're going to copy that over. And we're going to drag our video in and we're going to keep existing settings. OK, so this is what it's going to look like. You can change that. You want to highlight the video. And you want to go up to editing. OK, so we're up to editing and we've got all of this. I know my camera is in the way, so I do apologize. But there is a bit that says positioning and scaling. So if you click on that, you can move the video. So we're going to we're going to do that. And then we go scaling. Now with this, you can just Scale up. So that's how we do it. We're going to go back up to learning. And yeah, that is it. Now, once you've done all your video that you want to do, you can import videos that you've already recorded on your phone. So if you've done vertical filming, you can import that there. But yeah, once you're all done, I prefer to do this. You just click on the quick export. You're going to change what it's going to be. And you're going to click export and then you're done. You have your. Real Instagram. Your Instagram reel, your YouTube short, your TikTok and all that. You can import music as well. So all your normal editing. So, yeah, there you go. That is how you're going to. 
do a vertical so you can do shorts, Instagrams and TikToks. Thank you for watching.